Jose Rodriguez back again in this video I'm going to show you two methods to flush a Canon sponge type card. We will use the CLI 42 which is the one that we are most interested in. The simplest way is to simply run some water right through that little opening. And there are many little devices that people have come up with and simply I just place it right on the sink and get some warmish water and have it dribble right in there. This takes the longest and I want you to take a look at what's happening right in this region here. As you can see ink is immediately being removed from that sponge. You just simply continue to do that. Just let it sit there and dribble. And within about 10 minutes, it'll be nice and clean. Now you could also load a syringe full of water and run it directly through that newly created fill plug hole. And we'll go ahead and just let it dribble. And we will come back when it is done. Then I will show you one way to clear CLI 42 yellow card which is the one that gives everybody the yellow jello problem when you mix it with anything to do with water any ink that possesses a water based ink liquid base will tend to react with that and so what we need to do is we need to dissolve away that ink that remains in that sponge with something that will dissolve it and that seems to be Windex with ammonia and also piezo flush from inkjet mall all right we'll be back when this is all cleared okay about five minutes have passed and as you can see it is pretty much cleared out all of the ink there are still a few little pockets in some remaining stain that can be removed simply by inserting and you can see the as soon as I disturbed it you can see the ink being displaced we're going to insert a syringe full of water into the port and then we're just going to go ahead and press on through and you could do this from the very start it's a little bit faster process but if you don't have a syringe and you don't have the dexterity to do this then I just suggest you just let it drip as I did it's a little bit more passive and you can just walk away have some coffee come back and it is done all right as you can see we forced out all of the remaining ink there's still a little bit of blue left and I'm going to show you at the last portion of this video how to remove that completely so once you have reached the point where no more ink comes out, in other words, this is just stain that is not going to come out. We're going to go ahead and retract the water. I'm going to put this aside for now and I'm going to show you what to do with a yellow one. Here is one of those stubborn yellow ones. We're going to go ahead and not push any water through it. I'm going to directly inject some Windex through the cart and you can see it migrate its way through the sponge and what we want to do is we want to fill that sponge up as much as possible with the Windex we're going to let this sit for a while possibly an hour or two you can see how clean that sponge is becoming it is almost devoid of yellow once that sponge has been treated with the Windex, which has ammonia, which tends to dissolve or prevent any of that gelling from taking place, we're going to go ahead and flush it with water. And that's all you have to do. Okay, so once we have injected some Windex in there, you can see that it is beginning to affect the existing dried up yellow ink and it is dissolving it and you can plug the exit port with your hand or finger 
and force some Windex in so that it actually starts to affect the upper portion of the only other exit that's available which is the vent. We're going to go ahead and let that sit. Just let it be. Now we're going to take our previously flushed cyan card and again we will do the same process and we will let the Windex migrate its way. We're going to go ahead and plug and press in the Windex. I just let it sit there. Just let it sit there for a while. Now we can go ahead and clean up. This is a messy process. This is a very messy process and one that you must conduct on a sink in some place that you don't mind getting dirty. We'll let these sit here for a while. You can see the remaining yellow ink here that should wash right off. That is kind of trapped between the sponge and the wall, the inner wall of the cartridge itself. Okay, as far as the one with the cyan ink, we can continually either flush it passively like we did earlier or just begin to uh, force water through it with the syringe and that will clear it right up you can see already just doing so how quickly that clears off the remaining stain but we'll go ahead and load some warmish water do not use hot water just warm water that's all you need to use and I want you to see how quickly that will clear off. See that? And we end up with practically a snow white sponge. Imagine doing this to a hundred of these such empties. That's what a lot of these companies like Precision Colors does. They actually modify them, flush them, dry them, include a plug, include a base, and sell them to you for four bucks, which is super cheap, considering all the work that it took to get it to that condition. Now what we want to do here is we're going to just remove all of the remaining Windex. We don't want any of that ammonia remaining in there. And about four or five complete 60 ml flushes will do that. We can also plug the bottom and let the water come out of the vent. That'll clean up that upper portion of the sponge. You can plug the vent and that will force water directly out of the exit port. There's only two ways that this flushing water can come out. Either the bottom, the top, or both. That does it for this. We're going to go ahead and draw most of the water out, like so. You can also just shake it and get most of the water out of the liquid chamber. The next video I'm going to show you how to properly wick away the moisture. But let's go ahead and, it hasn't been an hour yet, but let's go ahead and try and see if we can clear off a lot of this yellow out of that sponge. And you can see how it's coming off. You might have to do the pre-treatment with the Windex twice. But once you do that, you will be able to use that yellow. You will not have to replace it with a CLI-8 and swap the chip. And, you know, if you're not really good at swapping chips, you might end up ruining your cart chip and the ability to attach it to the cart body. Alright, so you might ha I might have to do the Windex treatment twice. It looks like there's still a little bit of a stubborn yellow stain. I plug the bottom and let it come out of the top. Let's see if that helps. And then push some more. There you go. It definitely looks like I'll have to do the treatment twice. 
but as you can see quite a lot of the ink was removed and that ink is stubborn as can be all right that is it let's go over to the print room and we'll proceed to dry one of these out all right we are back now in the print room I wanted to show you the results of the yellow card flushing as you can see it is nice and clean and this will allow you to use this card the original one which is the best choice without having to swap that chip over to a CLI 8 and you know if you don't feel comfortable doing so this is the best way to go and so three complete flushes with Windex one hour each I only did it for about 10 minutes and you see the results one hour each and then flush with water or a single flush with the more expensive PSO flush will do the job just as well alright so we'll be back in the next video where we will discuss the various drying processes for these types of cards I'll show you how to arrive at the correct weight in uh, the simple simple process that I use it is not sophisticated at all but works flawlessly alright so we'll be back in the next video happy printing and bye bye